This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings, my dear gunners. Walter, you're under arrest. How amusing. I'm looking forward to it. Take him into custody. Yes, sir. How amusing. I'm looking forward to it. Congratulations. I hope you'll always remember this moment. What? No way! Gee! How amusing. I'm looking forward to it. Where are you, Vaunter? Such a lovely venue. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Venue. I can feel the historical significance of this place. The museum. Well, have a nice day, Chief. <laughs> We've been had. So that's the story. My officers are pursuing his floating fortress, which has the museum in tow. I know it's asking a lot, but I need you there. We're on it! You mean he stole the entire museum? Yeah, I bet he likes his fries supersized. Yeah, and that doubles for his ego. Now's not the time to admire the size of the man's fries. We've got a museum to liberate! Such graceful curves. Harmony achieved with golden metal balls. Simply magnificent. Ah, both the museum and the eternal engine. It seems the Grand Magazin was worth the investment. Hmm? Those gunners again. They don't know when to give up. You steal the spotlight. I'll be the only one standing for the final curtain call. And is this guy ever gonna give it a rest? A museum in the sky? Who'd have ever thought? They're bound to spot us. We better not waste any more time. Chief, we'll divert their attention. See if you can free the museum. Can you help out the chief? Yeah! I'll take care of those guys. Copan, you get the others. Okay, I'll swing around to the rear. In the rear with the gear. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Sky Gunner. This time we're doing the final mission as Copan. In the last episode, we took on the fortress and uh, didn't do as well point-wise as I normally do. However, we uh, we still made a decent amount of points and uh, still having a crazy lead against everyone in this place. So I think we will win this by far with a landslide. Um, but uh, we'll see if I can get the point, the same points going in this as well. Interesting enough, you can actually help. Uh, Fawn with uh, destroying the tethers if you really want to. Um, really no point. Might as well just let her do whatever. Just follow up with what you're doing. Um, and like all missions, Copan will have his own stuff to deal with while CL and Fawn do their own thing. So the big thing here is just just knowing when, like, uh, just when to try and get those chains and everything like that. But for right now, I'm trying to build up um, score with all these, like, mini planes. But it's all about keeping them all together if you can. Unfortunately, I'm not very fast enough to uh, get all of them, so I oh, won't. Well. Or if I utilize my Vortex ability more often. That's supposed to help you get a lot more score with the uh, Copan, but I've never really been good at like getting using it properly on a 
hunt minions and stuff like that. That's pretty much what you're supposed to be using on is, is a small units like this. You know, we charge in, gives you like small chains and stuff like that. But unfortunately, it's like charging as close as you can into them, which you know, as you can see there, if you don't do it right. You just kind of kind of make yourself look like a fool, which you know. I'm always willing to make myself look like a fool for entertainment purposes. Yeah, I know I'm not the most entertaining guy, but uh, I try in my own weird way. Oh, could have got multiple ones back to back there. Oh well. Not bad, build it up. We've got, we've almost got times four. We'll see how much we have as soon as we get to our, as soon as we beat those guys and have to go to the next objective. Yeah, I'm trying not to fireworks these guys because they're really not going to get much in the way of chains. And we can save it for other more important um, situations, so. Right. Nah. Probably could have. I was say, probably could have gotten a chain out of that. Oh, nice. I uh, burned out my engine doing that. Just remember to stay clear of the fuel tank. You think that's gonna stop us? I'll teach you a thing or two. Yep, it's our job to take out this thing, and if we don't, Fom gets shot down. So, yeah, this this thing we have to take care of. So. Unfortunately, the, uh, it's hard to hit it with the uh, pumpkin bombs to get the experience, so we kind of want to get on the side or around so we can hit it with a good uh, fireworks missile, and that'll get a, a bit of damage onto it. Feed the battleships, calm down. There's that one. Ah, got not got not down. That's trying to Yeah, I'm not very good at destroying this thing with uh with Copan, even though Slow down there. Let's try one more. One more go at it before we do that. Ah. ah, no! Yeah, I'm not doing very well. I'm weirdly actually not very good at Copan in this in the final the final mission. And it's every time I keep getting hit with the uh, dog missile, or dog missiles keep going after him, so. Well, either way. Hey, we saved her at the very last second, but hey. Now I need to see if I can get those points rallied up. So let's get a couple of nice scores from. Oh, right. You're supposed to hit a couple of them with that. Dang it. All right. There we go. Fire the tow cables. Let's get this rescue on the way. Chief, please get the museum to a safer place. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. There's so many of them. I'm 
just getting warmed up. Come on, guys! Let's mop the floor with them! Alright, time to destroy this whole thing, so let's see if we can get some points before we run out. So let's take care of those uh, balloons and cannons so we can take advantage of our five score if we can. Right, there's that chain. That gets us a few, a few score bits. I'm trying to take advantage of these as much as I can before we... I have to actually do the plot. All right. Not bad build up. Like I said, you can get quite a few score back to back here if you know what you're doing, so. Yeah. Let's see, I think there's a couple of uh, uh, balloons still left that I can take advantage of before. There's one there. Nice, nice build up there. So, all right, yeah. There's a couple of. Uh, right, there's some there. I mean, we can eventually get the build up if if we don't take two on the allies won't completely destroy take uh, destroy the ship. All right, that's I think that's good enough for that. Now let's take out some of the tethers while we're in this area. If we can. Eh, that's a small chain, but still. Good enough, I guess. Yeah, there goes that thing. I think that should have chained it. Didn't it. Yeah, okay. There goes the front segment. And you get some mini chains over there, so we get some little extra credit. Take care of that one. Yeah, have to be careful. The allies will, your friends will get to it before you can, and you're like, no. Okay. Anyway. Need to get some. Yeah, you just have to kind of be constant on this, otherwise you'll miss out on the. A bunch of chains and scores, so gotta keep, gotta work out fast, fast, fast. Okay, that should take care of that. And then I think I can get some of the uh, some of these while we're at it. Get a, oops, I was about to say I want to get around, so I can take out those guys. good chain right there. Yeah, I don't remember where every single chain is. I try to get most of them if I can. Oof. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I've already been knocked out a couple times here, so. Let's see if that gets me a good. I like what I see. I like it. Yeah, that didn't get me what I wanted, though. Did I get, uh... Was I able to get, uh, some more? Oh, there's a... Okay, never mind. I can ignore that. Never mind, let's finish this off. Ah no! Uh, that's gonna that's gonna hurt my uh, knockout score because I didn't want to get knocked down so many times. I'm trying to get a decent score, but uh, yeah, that should take out that one. Yeah, I missed out on keeping a times ten score, but yeah, what can you do? That's what I get for messing around too much. Build up those chains. Build them up. It's enough, I tell you. Enough. It's gonna be 
other side or front? I don't think I got the front one yet. Oh, there it is. I wonder if I can get a chain before. Yeah, another chain before it fully goes away. Now, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Is there any other... Doesn't look like it, so we'll just take out the one down there. Oops. Alright, we'll get that other one. Alright. Yeah, I could have probably could have kept messing around by defeating smaller units, but. I don't want to drag it out too long. You, have to, you actually have to be pay attention to fuel in this one. You bumbling idiots! There's just a few of them! Gah! Everyone to your battle stations! Ready the fighters! Man all cannons! Let them tremble before the power of the Grand Magazine! deal with the fighters coming from the hangar. I'll focus on the engine room. Okay, then leave the control tower to me. That beast sure's got a big belly. I know just the thing to give it a little tummy ache. Now, oh, what's that? Now, oh, there's some, uh, yeah, battleships you can fight while uh, messing with that, but, uh, I don't want to mess with the engine for now, so. Yeah, we have to stop the engine before we can actually utilize it, so. That's right. I guess I need two on that, on that thing. Okay. Wasn't sure if I could just do it with one or not. A little bit at a time. I'm not sure if uh, uh, oh, didn't even get it. <laughs> All right, try that again. Why do I keep not hitting it? <laughs> I should be hitting it with its. Uh, okay, let me try the other side this time. defeating this as fast as I should be. Interesting. Aw, oh, come on, man. Alright, try it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not very good with Copan in this, in this level, as I mentioned before. Okay. I was going to drop him on him, and then it just uh, stopped, so let's try that again. What? Didn't destroy it. What the heck's going on? Try some firework missile, maybe that'll that'll help. Nope, it's just pumpkin bombs. I was kind of curious to see if anything else actually worked on it as well. There you go. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble getting these guys. Hit it, come on. I hate how you have to hit it like the exact angle, otherwise it's not gonna get it right. Christmas. Alright. Where's some mini units I need to uh, Yeah, you're gonna have to help me because I'm having a Freaking hard time doing this. Yeah, see, Capa uh, CL could just blast him. I have I have trouble with mine because I don't have the same power as his as his guns do. Let's see. Ah. 
Dang it. I got down multiple times. Ugh, I hate it. I mean, my score is fine. It's not, I'm not going to lose out on score. I'm just, you know. Yeah, CL just has to help me out. I'm just really bad at this, so. Oh my god. Yeah, this is bad. I'm getting way too many times. Thanks, CL. Imbeciles, watch where you're aiming. Isn't this the phone that... Hello? Your ship's going down! You're not gonna try to escape? Insolent children! Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Time to fight the uh, metal machine soldier again. So, and this time we're playing as Kapan, so we have to hit him with the pumpkin bombs to stun him, and then uh, Kapan and uh, Fom will be able to, uh, or Fom and CL will be able to hit him. Ah, oh, come on! Ugh. Yeah, I, I hate playing as Kapan sometimes because he is so easy to get smacked. Like, just takes like one good hit and he's out. Like. So there's a fear I might get hit multiple times. Ah, oh, come on, man. Sometimes I like lose out on locking on this guy. So, yeah, this is. Oh my God! Yeah, see. Oh, this is so frustrating. All right. Try it again. There we go. Oof. He even has the easiest job too. Trying to get some pumpkin bombs while they while they deal with their cross missiles, so I can build up. Okay, right. you do them already. Look, that's gotta be the Eternal Engine. Guys, throw everything you've got at it. All right, let's uh fight the Eternal Engines. So let's see if we can defeat it as fast as we can. But I, like I said, I am not very good at doing this as Kapan. So I probably won't even get the three minute range. Because if you can defeat this guy in three minutes, both of his forms, you can. Uh... Oh, what? Oh, I hate that. Like I do, the, I do the charge and I try to get as close as I can without actually hitting him. And then, uh, and then I automatically lock out of the uh, targeting thing for some reason. So. Trying to get a few, because the pumpkin bombs do do, do a lot of damage. Yeah. Ah. 
I just have to be careful that I don't actually I have to wait till I'm like calm down so I don't actually get knocked out. Get off me. <laughs> Leave me alone. God, dog missiles are so annoying. Get this guy. I don't even know if I've got enough points to, or points. I don't know if I've enough pumpkin bombs to do enough damage to him fast enough. So we'll see what happens, though. Yeah, I don't even think I did the damage to him, as you can see there. Ah! No! Oh, this is not good. Yeah, just you have to just butt mash as fast as you can. Oh. Yeah, this is not going to be good for my score. I'm, I'm taking way too many knockdowns from this guy. When I hit, I do the damage, but no. He almost hit, hit me with a spear thingy. Whoa. Oh. Oh, come on. Got me in the back end. Well, I, I, he hit me barely the one thing, and then someone shot at me. Oh, this sucks. I, I, I hate this section of the fight. It's really freaking annoying. Especially when you run out of either like pumpkin bombs or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I just can't do it in the three minutes. I mean, I can, but I'm too like fractured from uh, from like being knocked down like way too many times. Oh, it's so close. Oh, one more go. One more. There we go. Yeah, I didn't beat it fast enough. So what I'm gonna have to do to show that off is I do have to do Fom's path again to get a uh, to win. To, you have to get first place through each everyone's campaign to unlock the final little bit of extra content. So I have to replay through Fom anyway. So I'll probably what I'll do is a uh, uh, next episode I'll uh, show off um, Fom getting the best score, but also uh, um, showing off what happens if you beat the uh, Eternal Engine uh, Machine Machine Soldier within three minutes so you can show off fighting a Vonter's battleship as the final extra, so. Oh well. Yeah, I did, uh, lost a, a few points there, that's for sure. But anyway, you've still got a ton of points, though. I didn't, actually, I don't think I got as much. I think a CL, I got, I think I got, like, 14 million last time? Or was it, no, I think it was 11 million, so I actually did better this time, so I still beat them hands down so all right time to watch the end again a lot went on right after that incident but things settled down after several days had passed CL keeps himself occupied with his fighter he brought a big machine gun home today I don't know where he thinks he's going to put it. copan has been looking bored lately. He says he's anxious to track down Vonter. I wonder if he's serious.
The Chief's been tying up all the loose ends on the case. He's feeling kind of down because he hasn't had time to play with his little girl. The one who's responsible for it all, Vonter, hasn't been seen since then. But I'm sure he's up to his same old tricks. And as for myself, I decided to stay here for a while. I've grown to like this town. You almost wish that uh, for the epilogue that they'd always done it, like done it with the character you beat it as. So instead of it just being Fom, like CL has some things to say or Copan, but yeah, I can I understand why they did that. So, so yeah, the third time's the charm with Copan, and obviously if you do it right, you can get a ton of score with him. He has more. Weirdly enough, he has the, I think he has the best opportunities for for points about every everyone else, even the finale. Even though I had some trouble with it. He still has the... Well, actually, technically the finale, anyone can get a ton of points. And really, any of the characters can get a ton of points if you know what you're doing. It's just, if you play the game naturally, through story-wise, uh, Copan gets the most points op opportunities. Probably, maybe it's because he has the hardest time because he's the... Actually, he's, actually he's probably not the most difficult one to fly as, which I'll show you in another episode. But he's definitely one of the hardest because, yeah, you saw I was barely taking any smacks. And I was already getting knocked down like multiple times during that final, final area. It's a little frustrating. That's why I don't like fighting the machine soldier because just bullets are flying everywhere. Especially if you have to use the pumpkin bomb. So you have to at least get decently, I wouldn't say close, but you have to get in the general vicinity so you can actually lock on and drop them and they'll actually drop in the right location. And fighting the engine in the back of the engine with coupons is kind of annoying because you have to do, you have to aim the pumpkin bombs right. Otherwise it'll miss the engine. You won't even do the damage to it. It's a bunch of little frustrations that make make it harder to do it with him. Weirdly enough, the whole game is probably the easiest to play as Fawn to get uh, get points and stuff like that because she's actually the most durable flyer out of everyone. You think that's weird with like all the missions they give her, but no. If you look at her stats, like just in game, she takes the most hits before she actually gets knocked down. I guess maybe she's the most simple pilot, so that's why there's not a lot of extra stuff to fall apart or whatever. So. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's it for all three characters for the story. I mean, really, they're, like, what was the Eternal Engine? Like, what was its big thing? Did it really did it really get destroyed when we knocked it off? Because you saw how many times we had to destroy that thing before it, before it actually fell apart. So I wonder I wonder if, uh, if what the, where the machine did, because it didn't actually blow up. Remember, it blew, it blew up, but its frame was still there as it flew off the ship. So I wonder what happened when it fell into the... Did it just fall into the water? Did it fall into some... Uh, Landmass. Hopefully it didn't, but uh, no one ever brings that up on that one. But uh, I'm trying to think what else to, to say. But I, li I, I like this is the same thing. When recording this one, I kind of got used to the game again, even though I kind of generally play tested it. But as I played through the game again, I got slowly better at uh, like first time I played the game. Same thing. I ch played as Fom, and I got didn't do very well within CL. I did pretty good. I think I got first place when I first played. Then when I bit did Capon, you know, I got. I got about, I think I got about the same score as I did before when I finished it. And so it was always, I'm always getting, I was slowly getting better. So if I play as Fomp now, I do a lot better. But it's just kind of funny how it always works. I think that's the same with anyone, but. Yeah, unfortunately I missed, uh, missed uh, two uh, oppor opportunities on that one. I didn't max them out. So, man, 40, really 14 crashes? I guess most of those were for the final bit. Because I didn't think I'd fallen that many times during the other other ones you know, prize money so yeah if I could get those uh, crashes down a bit less I could get a I could get an S actually technically the best rank is I think SS actually and you have to get like I don't I'm trying to think I think you have to barely get knocked I mean obviously you have to do all objectives you have to get like a really high score like um, to do it I don't think there's anything that unlocks if I get an SS. I think it's just a, oh, you're awesome. You're super awesome. You know, that type of thing. But yeah, I got a multiple times in this run through, so. Survival mode has been unlocked and is now available. Yeah, now we can uniform processing mode so we can uh, switch between the, those two, I don't know why they didn't give her a voice for that one, but they will. 
But we still haven't done the final thing there. Look at that. There's a, oh yeah, survival mode. In uniform processing mode, and the configuration has been unlocked. But as you can see there, there's still one more guy to unlock, or someone to unlock. Who is it? I wonder who it is. The only other person in the game who had a major picture outside of the villain? And what is Raval's story all about? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Sky Gunner. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.